Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Joey Biagas and I'm an audio engineer and a musician of a few years now. And today I'm going to show you how to make a multiband compressor. So let's go ahead and hop right into Logic here. All right, so inside of Logic Pro, you want to open up your mixer window here. Just click that button down at the lower left-hand corner. Okay, now cruise over to the send section because we're going to send all of these frequencies to its own channel so we can funnel or cut off each frequencies and then place compressors upon them. Okay, so in the sends, click send and go down to bus and let's just go in order. Let's do bus one. Okay, and Logic's gonna automatically open up a new aux track for you. And I'm gonna rename that real quick and put low because that's gonna be just our low end. And let's move up to the inserts here. And I'm just gonna double click on the EQ to open up the channel EQ, okay? And here, what I'm gonna do is have just a low pass going through. So I'm gonna select this icon here, and that's going to activate my low pass filter. And I'm going to type this in as a, actually, you know what? I won't type it in. I'm just gonna click and drag up and put a 24 dB. Now you can use whatever, um, whatever setting you want if you want to have a more dramatic effect to it if you want 48 um, i like 24 that's just my preference but what i'm going to do is type in the filter cutoff point or the frequency cutoff points and i'm going to do 150 okay so basically what's going on here is it's cutting off all of these frequencies these higher frequencies and starting to cutting off from 150 okay so Let's, uh, let's close this out. Okay, now let's go ahead and go back to the original channel and have another send. Click on send, go to bus. Let's do bus two now. And again, Logic Pro is going to open up another aux track here, or aux channel. And I'm going to name this mid, because I'm going to make a three band, multi band compressor. Now you can make five if you want, that's completely fine. But just to make things simple, I'm gonna make a three band and I'm going to cruise up to the top, double click on EQ to open up the channel EQ. And this time we're gonna do a high pass filter and a low pass filter. Okay, now the, the high pass filter, I'm going to set it at the same frequency that we did for the previous um, EQ, which was 150 Hertz. Okay, and then I'm gonna leave it at 24. Now on this end, for the high end, I'm going to do, we can do, uh, let's do 2K or 2000 Hertz. Okay, I'm gonna change this to 24, perfect. Okay, so it should look something like that. That way it's cutting off the highs and the lows and just leaving our midsection to be able to compress, okay? So let's go ahead and close this out again. All right, now one more send. So go back to the original channel, go to bus. We wanna to go to bus three now. Okay, and again, it's gonna open up a new aux track and we're going to name this high. Okay, cruise up to the top, double click on EQ. Okay, and of course you probably guessed that we're just doing a high pass filter and we're going to double click and put this at the same um, frequency that we had it before, which was 2000 Hertz. Okay, and leave it at 24 dB. That way it's cutting off all the low frequencies and mid frequencies and leaving us just with the higher frequency range. Now again, now these uh, filtering um, cutoff points, now you can adjust them to whatever numbers that you want. Um, I just chose these to my likings. Okay, I'm gonna close this out. Now, one last thing that we need to do is place the compressor into each one of these channels here. To do that, we simply go to the inserts here, click on the insert, go to dynamics, and then go to compressor, and mono is fine. Okay, and that's gonna open up our compressor channel here. So, um, so basically, we can control Let's see, so I opened up the compressor here for the lows. Now if I wanted, let's say I wanted some punchy lows, I can you know, adjust the attack and have a slow attack so the, the punches, the transients come through. Um, 
and basically not affect anything other than just the lows. So whatever type of compression you want for whatever frequency range, now you can do it. And let me close this out and I'm going to do one last thing is I'm going to hold option and command and that basically and click and drag and that copies and pastes each one of these plugins here. Okay, so from there, I'm basically done. And that's it. Now I have the control over the compression over a certain frequency range of the same sample or original signal. So if you do have any other questions, guys, please let us know. And thank you for watching.